the effect of temperature we have four test tubes test tube one two three test tube one two three and four now test tube one and two contain acetic acid solution three three mils while test tube three and four contain sodium hydrogen carbonate solution which is the base solution 3 3 mL. Now what we are going to do, we are going to heat test tube 2 and test tube 4 and while test tube 1 and test tube 3 will be unheated. So we will now turn test tube 2 and test tube 4 that are heated into its order to observe the rate of reaction. Thereafter we will now turn test tube 1 to test tube 3 and observe the rate of reaction. Now, test tube 2 and 4. Now you can see the rate of reaction very fast, the evolving of gas, which is the release of gas, gas very fast, actually it's releasing carbon 4 oxide because of pseudo hydrogen carbonate and acetic acid reaction will form sodium and hydrogen carbonate. Now we go now the two unheated ones which are at room temperature, let's observe their rate of reaction. Is relatively there is no visible rate of reaction. Now that is to tell you that the rate of reaction is affected by temperature. Higher the temperature, the faster the rate of chemical reaction. To attend to effect of temperature and rate of chemical reaction, there we discover that the effect of temperature on rate of chemical reaction is positive and the relationship is positive. Increase the temperature, it will fasten the rate of chemical reaction. So we've been able to prove, been able to prove, been able to prove the effect of temperature to be positive. Now we go to effect of surface area as the last. Now effect of surface area, we are using zinc solids and zinc powder. Now zinc powder is made up of fine powder of zinc particles, while zinc solid, a, a block, a bigger particle of zinc solid. Now we are going to react both of them with a three molar hydrochloric uh, acid solution to test for effect of surface area and rate of chemical reaction. Watch. Now relatively five mils of the acid solution on each of the test tubes, two test tubes, one tagged X, the other one tags, tagged P. P is for zinc powder, which is zinc dust, while X is for the zinc solid. You can fill the test tube to about half of the test tube. Now,
Now this is zinc solids. Sorry, Nambu. This is zinc solids. Now I will put it in test tube X. Then I will put zinc powder on test tube P. Now fill zinc dust with the help of the Now you can see the reaction. It's clear, bro. Hmm? Which one is faster? Now you can see very clear. Now when zinc solid reacts, or zinc reacts with acid, it releases hydrogen gas, which is very, very explosive. That's what is done. Now you can test hydrogen gas with the pop sounds. So far with this test, we've been able to test for effect of temperature, I mean, sorry, effect of surface area and rate of chemical reaction. We've been able to prove that higher the surface area, the faster the rate of reaction. So we've been able to conclude the effect of surface area and rate of chemical reaction. The essence is this, when the particle size is smaller, now the particle has more opportunity to interact with the reactor. It means that more reaction sites has been created. That now enables the reaction rate to be faster when the particle size is smaller. When the particle size is smaller, the surface area is increased. Thank you.